Hello, Unity developers. This is Troy. Today, we're going to finish implementing the multiplayer game logic. And by the end of the video, we will have a playable multiplayer goldfish game. In the last video, we got the player's card selection synchronized and we ended the video at the turn waiting for opponent confirmation game state. The games will be waiting for the target player to click the OK button to respond to the card request. So when the target player clicks the OK button to react to the card request, we need to send the player's action to the host player. And I'm going to use a remote event to send the action. I'm going to add a new room remote event and call it opponent confirmed. It targets the host player. In the netcode script, I'm going to use a unity event to decouple our game logic from the networking code. Let's call the new event on opponent confirmed. Next, I'm going to add a method for the game logic to invoke the opponent confirmed remote event. And we need another public method to handle the remote event and invoke the onOpponentConfirmed Unity event. So the target player will invoke the remote event to notify the host player. The host player will receive the event and invoke the onOpponentConfirmed Unity event. In the multiplayer game script, I'm going to add a method to handle the onOpponentConfirmed Unity event. I will change the game state to turn opponent confirmed and synchronize the game data. And in the OK button selected handler, I'm going to notify the host player that the target player has confirmed the card request. So the game will transition to the turn opponent confirmed state. Looks like we don't need to override the method because the game data is synchronized and the player should observe the same cards being taken and sent to the current turn player from the target player. But I prefer to stick with our initial design and use the same technique to sync the game data. After that, the game will transition to the goldfish state, similar to the turn opponent confirm state. We don't really need to override the implement, but I will just do it so that our sync logic is consistent. When the game met the game finished conditions, it will enter the game finished state. And in the onGameFinished method, we just updated the message label so we can keep the offline implementation. Let's set up the event handles in the Unity editor.
I'm going to hit play. I am going to select 4 and confirm my selection. The car request is sent to the other player, and I'm going to change the focus to the other player and click OK. Because I don't have the requested card, the requesting player will go fish and draw a card from the deck. Now I have the requested card. I will click OK and the card is sent to the other player. I'm going to continue playing and finish the game. Looking good. The game is finished and we got a winner. In the next video, we will talk about encryption and we will encrypt the game data in our game. See you in the next one.